Welcome to Batters Up, with Kojak, and now your host, Kojak. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Detroit Tigers. Coming up on the first pitch, today's starting pitcher, Eric Skubel. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters they have a hard time staying back. This is Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And that's how this game gets started. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And a superb diving catch. Great reaction there. The momentum of the dive takes him into foul territory. But comes up and makes the play. Outstanding job to get an out right there. Here's Cattell Marte. This one lifted in the air, left field. Badu puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Book, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency yeah. to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the hey. end. That's in there, and a count is 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Moreno, the runner at first with two gone. Owen oh, Chu now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One left for the Diamondbacks. The Tigers coming up. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, speedy Parker out. Meadows. The, Tigers. the center fielder. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallen slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ballgame. Waste no time there. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so... He just found a perfect place to drop that. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Oh! 
A two-run shot, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. Going one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That's now three hits in a row for the Not offense. Just kept it simple. Right Played here. Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, Kerry Carpenter fouled back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Out towards left center. Thomas gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One down. Throw and it gets away. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Now the third baseman, Matt Veerling. Well struck left field. Back there. And it's gone. He powers that one out to left, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4 nothing. this swing is he stayed tall allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark really nice job one out base is empty Andy Abanez the next to hit here's a high fly ball out to center Thomas sizing it up makes the grab on the run yeah, there's two away. Yo, those can no be pretty field. fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And that one's gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they boost their lead. It's five zip. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Now it's Javier Baez. Foul ball there.
And the righty deals. Rip to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. They had the long ball working three times for a total of five runs. We move on to the second here at Comerica. It's the Tigers five and the Diamondbacks nothing. Second inning set to go. Here's Tommy Pham. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's Ball one there. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. One, two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. He goes down looking. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hey. That's in there, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. Check swing, no appeal. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. The next offering misses. And that's two ball two. And that one just missed off the outside edge. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Three and two. The 3 2 is ball. off Take the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Alec Thomas ball. now. First offering, and it just misses. On the ground, two ball. Veerling to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they make short work of them there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Tigers five and the Diamondbacks nothing. Bottom of the second, and here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. The catcher, Jake Rogers. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Seeing he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the wind made it a lot more interesting than expected. Nice job of the center fielder. Pushed it all the way back to the warning track. Man. And that one hammered Thomas. Ranging back, back some more. Up against the wall and brings it in. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. And that one is lifted in the air. Guriel has it sized up. Makes the grab. And that is that. Tigers are back here in Detroit. On to the third inning. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Scooble back to work. There's a strike. I'm always interested in guys like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school, but eventually nope, ended up at Long Beach State and became a first-round pick. How do you go from not drafted to a first-rounder? 
And one and two. Yeah, and then becoming a superstar there for a while with the Tampa Bay Rays. And pretty incredible. Just a quiet player. Goes about his business day in and day out. Actually played third base next to Troy Tulowitzki at shortstop at Long Beach State. And slept on his couch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. And, and he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. The next pitch misses, and one and one. And that's in for a strike. and misses it's a strikeout well one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball that's is coming in to let them know what the pitch is and if they see the red dot it's typically a slider but when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates very difficult to determine and that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there just a nasty pitch and yeah, the lefty with the 0-1 And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And now the DH, Miguel Cabrera. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And that one fouled off. Well, these Tigers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. He sends a rocket to left, and they add to the lead. It's 6-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Manager out of the dugout now. And it now on the bump, Ryan Thompson. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Now here is Kerry Carpenter. That one ripped. Way back there. And out of here. He'll touch them all. And they add a run. It's 7-0. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. He's already homered in this one. That's towards center. Thomas gets under it. And there's one down. And here's the first baseman, Andy Abanez. The first baseman, Andy Abanez. This one in the air center field. Thomas gets under it. He's there. He's got it. That's out number two. A little drop and drive on now that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. Two. 
wings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 8-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Two outs, nobody on. The batter now, Javier Baez. 0 for 1 so far. into the outfield base hit and that extends the inning now batting catcher Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers he flied out to the warning track in his first trip That one ripped right center field. That's back. And that one is out of here. He powers one out to right field, and they add a couple more. It's 10-0. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Joe Mantiply takes over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Flied out his first time. And here it comes. In the air, center field. Meadows in position. And puts the squeeze on that. One away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Gabriel Moreno. And he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Nope. Gonna count one and two. It's a good one take. Ball, two strike. The pitch. That's and now two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Walker in the box now. No balls on okay. the strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0-2. Good eye right there. One ball, two strikes. And a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another.
battling here as he fouls it away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next offering is fouled back. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Three. Caught him looking for the K. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. Not looking good. They're down 10 nothing. Bottom four. Your boys bringing the bars back with the force of Star Wars medicine walking all black. Wizard. Now the number two hitter, Spencer Torkelson. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And that one in the air center field. Thomas gets under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one down. Next is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. Hit hard, base hit. He was all over that one. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Swing and a ball popped up. Perdomo should have this one. And makes the grab. Two away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Into center. Thomas gets under it. Makes the catch inning over. Tigers leave one. All set for the start of the inning. And now, Tommy Pham. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. You know, these D-backs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Lifted in the air, out to left. Badu under it. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open now instead that, of staying closed. If he does good. that, he's going to be able to Guriel. go up the middle the other way with some authority Aye. instead of a fly out to left. Guriel stands in now and watches strike one. Oh. That one missed. The wind of the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Alec Thomas. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Comes up empty. Oh, That's strike two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Arizona. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the play, Andy Abanez. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That one felt good, and they add to their lead. It's 11-0. That 
home run was a no doubter as we dive into the numbers with Snackcast. Crushed, or just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's going back. Back some more. And out of here. He rockets one to right. That's his third home run of the game. It's 12-0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Next to hit, Javier Baez. Out towards right center field. Thomas settles under it and makes the catch. One down. Now and up next for Detroit, Jake Rogers. Blast his power last time. Blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. That's out to center field. Thomas makes the play, and there's two down. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. And that one wrapped foul. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. We're through five. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Comerica Park, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Evan Longoria. Swings and misses. 1-1. Oh, and it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to oh, commit to one velocity and stay there. One and one. The one one is fouled off. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Calls it in, and there's one away. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Perdomo, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Okay. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The why to kick the pitch. In the air to left center, Meadows. Sizing this one up, snags it on the run. And there's two away. Now, Corbin Carroll. Carroll. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. We only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Right through there for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes.
Next offering is foul back. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Tigers 12 and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Kyle Nelson. Spencer Torkelson digs in now. The pitch. Smoked in the left, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And next is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera, a career batting average over 300, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. And there's one down. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Thomas running hard to get it. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third base coach, didn't it? I mean, was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with the pair of runners in scoring position. One away, runners at second and third. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling. Deep drive down the line, foul ball. Well, he got a first pitch breaking ball right there that he clearly liked the look of. Just needed to let it travel a little longer. Strike two. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. Line drive caught. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Fouled off left side. Torkelson on third. Carpenter at second with two gone. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Moreno makes the catch, and that'll do it. Strand a pair, but they lead it by a count of 12 to nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, now wanted a one. Swing and a miss. One, ball. one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. This one popped up. Devonez makes a nice running catch. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting. One gone baseball. runner at first. Christian. Now it's going to be Walker. Christian Walker, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And here comes the Tigers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. 
Tarek Skubal is done and he was a tough nut to crack pretty stingy from start to finish back with a new arm after a quick break. So a lefty out of the pen, Eduardo Rodriguez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out oh, how they're down. beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Two outs, and there's the strike. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. One left for Arizona, hasn't been their day. It's 12-0. And next up for the Tigers, Akil Badu. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Tigers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Double-digit hits and zero strikeouts. I don't know which of those is more impressive, but especially in today's game, that's something they can feel very good about. One up, one down. Yeah, the batter down. Now, Javier Baez. Javier Baez. That one hammered center field. Thomas going back, back some more, back some more. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. And yeah, the batter now, Jake Rogers. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A solo shot, and they add a run. It's 13-0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the batsman carried it out of here. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. Lifted in the air, right field. Carroll moving under it. He's got it. And that is the third out of the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Eighth inning coming up. You're dialed in to the show. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Rodriguez back to work. And that's in for a strike. A 
strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Thomas up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Next one off the plate inside. Now 2-0. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. The punch out there, that's his second strikeout. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it. This one swung on and hit well, way back there. And gone! That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit V-Law wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. D backs get one on the solo jack. Last half of the eighth. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. An absolutely majestic shot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 14-1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Hander on now, number 57. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Now, here is Miguel Cabrera. Lace to right center, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. So, man aboard. And here is Kerry Carpenter. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And it's 15 to one. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Matt Veerling will hit next. In the air, out to center. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, the first baseman. And now here is Andy Abanez. In the air, right side. Makes the grab for the second out.
And up next for Detroit, Akil Badu. No left field. Akil Badu. In the air to left down the line. And that will drop foul. In the air, out towards left center. Thomas puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors and a runner left. Through eight full, the Tigers are out front, 15 to one. Back here at the ballpark, and now the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. And the pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Okay. And a pitch. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and he went, says Larry Bowler. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Popped up. Torkelson moving under it. Pulls it down and there's two gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Out to center. And that'll do it. The Tigers take this one in a blowout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. The 15-1 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us. The following has been a Kojak 313 gaming production. Distributed by Recom, a division of the Reese Design Group. Recom. Oh.
Jack. 